Hey what's up Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial this time showing you how to clone yourself. Yeah you heard that right clone yourself here in Vegas so get on some safety goggles as we dive into this experiment. Let's get started. First thing I want to mention is that when you shoot your clips you want to make sure that you set your clone or yourself apart from each shot. So you're obviously you're going to take two different shots. One shot with yourself just sitting there and doing whatever you want to do you can go ahead and turn and look to your fake clone that's going to be sitting right here so here's the other shot you can tell that they're pretty far apart and we also have him look at the other clone that's going to be sitting here so you kinda of get the idea of what you need to do uh, you know just get your two clips together and put yourself side by side now if you want your clones to interact such as shake hands high five each other that's a whole other story which we might discuss in a future tutorial uh, that involves a lot of time and patience with keyframes and frame by frame editing another thing I want to mention is you want to make sure that your lighting stays relatively the same throughout the entire video so from clip 1 to clip 2 you want to make sure that the lighting is exactly the same because let's say if you're outside and you shoot your first clip and then the sun moves around, clouds move over the sun, and you shoot your second clip, you have two different lightings there and it's not going to turn out the way you'd like it to. Also make sure that your camera stays on a tripod and it does not move from clip 1 to clip 2, otherwise it's just going to get all messy there too. So let's go ahead and drag our first clip down here to the timeline. I'm going to bring this up a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and remove the sound so I'm just going to bring the gain all the way down to nothing to mute that out since it's just a bunch of background noise so I'm going to go ahead and cut this clip here I'm gonna trim it down a little bit right before the point that he looks so around there and then I'm going to trim this down as well maybe to around 10 seconds or so next thing I'm going to do is drag down my second clip here drag this down and I'm gonna go ahead and mute this topmost layer so I can see the second layer and I'm also going to trim this down right before he looks to his right uh, okay around there and then I want to see here and see where he looks all right so let's see if that works out it should work out okay so then I'm going to just quickly trim this down here and mute the audio here as well okay so unmute your topmost layer and for the topmost layer we want to come over here to the event pan crop and you might be used to working here but one thing you might not have noticed is when you go down here to position you get this little mask checkbox which you can enable and then you get an anchor creation tool similar to the one in Photoshop works exactly the same and we're going to just simply click and add our little mask here And I'm going to try to adjust it so, you know, if he has any shadows going on, shouldn't be a problem. And I just want to show you when I close this off, uh, you're going to be able to see a difference there, just like that. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but you can kind of see a big color difference here. You can see a line and it goes from bright to dark and it's not really even. So, the way we can fix that is to go down here to the feather type change that from none to both and then bring the feather percentage up a significant amount to where that disappears and you can see it disappears and I just also want to make sure that I'm not cutting into anything here like his hand going up no that shouldn't be a problem the only problem might be the shadows which with the feather it, it also shouldn't be too big of a deal alright so I can bring this back up and we can go ahead and preview this. Let's see how it works out. All right, they both look at each other. He waves. I'm not accepting your wave. All right. So there you have it, cloning in Vegas. Now you can go out and tell your friends that you've cloned yourself. And if they don't believe you, you have video to prove it. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you have something you want me to show you how to do in Vegas, you can also leave a comment below. And I will try my best to fulfill those requests. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, at Robert's Productions. Visit the site, robertsproductions.net. Like me on Facebook.com slash Robert's Productions. And of course, you can also subscribe to this channel for more weekly tutorials just like this one. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching. See you next time.